Hi, BookTube. This is Pete. I forgot to do what I really wanted to do this weekend, which was my first weekend reading report. So I'm probably forgetting some things, but there's a couple of things that I that I've been spending a lot of time with this weekend that I want to talk about. Uh, first thing is all these magazines I started ordering from Penny Publications. I'm going to do a video on these later and talk about them as a group, but. Uh, Here's Ellery Queen's Mystery Magazine. This is last month's issue. I've got so many issues to read right now. This is a uh, Holmes themed issue, which they do every January, February, uh, which reminded me of Holmes on the Range, which is uh, book time uh, with Elvis from Mark event, or at least that's where I know it from. And so that reminded me of that. And I had watched one of their videos uh, that he did with his group of uh, Holmes fans and I'll link to that in the comments. They talked about things they might be reading going forward and one of the things they mentioned was Treasure Island and I thought hey I want to read that. It's been a long time since I read any Stevenson so I uh, tried to get it on my uh, from my library and the only thing available was an audio book version immediately and it was uh, narrated by Frederick Davidson. I don't know if people who are into audiobooks have been into him for a long time. They probably know his name, Blackstone Audio. Frederick Davidson did all the P.G. Woodhouse books and stuff. He's a really good reader. Book's about seven hours, but I don't have as much time as I used to. I don't spend as much time listening to audiobooks as I used to because I, when I walk, um, I like to work on my Spanish and or just meditate and I used to have a job where I could listen to audiobooks all day. So I got kind of impatient with the slow pace of reading it because I could read it myself much faster and then I realized why don't I check and see if I have it on my Kindle because I keep finding stuff that I downloaded for free years ago and if sure enough I have it. In fact I have a collection of six, six uh, books by Stevenson including, uh, it's got uh, Kidnapped in it, it's got uh, The Black Arrow, it's got The Body Snatcher, which I, I think is a short story, and it's got Jekyll and Hyde, which I know is a novella, and which I just bought a, a separate copy of for 99 cents a few weeks ago. I just keep doing stuff like that, so hopefully I'll stop it. And I'm really, so I started reading it that way. I returned the auto book, and I'm picking up for, the, I'm going to read the rest of it. Uh, on my own, so I'll probably finish it tonight or tomorrow. It's got this great uh, prologue in it to the hesitant purchaser of Treasure Island, which was not part of the audiobook. It reads, If sailor tales to sailor tunes, storm and adventure, heat and cold, if schooners, islands, and maroons and buccaneers and buried gold and all the old romance retold exactly in the ancient way can please as me they pleased of old the wiser youngsters of today so be it and fall on if not if studious studious youth no longer crave his ancient appetites forget kingston or ballantine the brave or cooper of the wood and wave, so be it also, and may I and all my pirates share the grave where these and their creations lie. Which I thought was a pretty uh, sweet kind of introduction to the book. I guess he, I guess it was maybe kind of an old-fashioned story he was trying to tell at the time, even though you know now it's timeless. And when you think of pirates and treasure and all that kind of things, you naturally think of Treasure Island. So this is what I spent mostly the week reading. I read Ellery Queen, Mystery Magazine, as I showed, and I also read Hitchcock's. I've got, I got Penny Publications has four magazines. I got Hitchcock's, Mystery Magazine, Analog, SF, and Asimov's SF. So I'm working on those. Uh, I'm going to do a video on, all those mag video on all those magazines because I think it's important to support them if you can if you're interested in short stories. And I read The Tomb of Dracula. I think I'm on about issue 16 there. I read the first omnibus of Marvel's Tomb of Dracula from... 
I got it on Hoopla. The, the comics look really good on on uh, the screen on my uh, tablet screen. I guess that's it. I was I really wanted to do one this weekend. I know there's other stuff I read that I'm forgetting, and it's going to come out late because I already did one video today, and that's probably enough. So this will show up Monday, and please subscribe if you want to watch one of the other videos which is probably better if you want to and we'll speak again soon